Hi guys, Gary here with Gary Clayton Photography. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to do something that I don't do a lot of. Maybe I don't do enough of, but today we're going to do a product review. Now, <clears throat> it was probably a year and a half or so ago that um, I came across a product. And now this particular product is right here. I'm going to show it to you. It's the Gary Fong soft cloud diffuser now first of all what i want to say is a i'm not endorsed in any way shape or form or paid by the gary phone company to talk about this diffuser i am simply talking about this particular item because i like it i actually give this item a nine out of ten i'll tell you why it doesn't get a ten later but I give it a 9 out of 10, and I wanted to share it with you because for me it did solve a bit of a problem. So first of all, you can actually use this for several uh, different functions. <clears throat> Interior real estate, which I use it for. Uh, portrait work, which it's amazing for. And there's other applications too, but primarily I bought this to help me with my interior real estate shots. Now, Back in the day, what I used to do was I would um, set myself up in a particular room and it'd be maybe a living room with a set of French doors and um, some kind of an exterior view, maybe trees or mountains or whatever. And I used to take two shots. I used to take a shot exposing for the exterior and a shot exposing for the interior. And then I used to blend these together in Photoshop to create the image that I wanted to present to the client. Well, what I found with this guy was I could do this in one shot and it would help me cut down an immense amount of time, especially in post, simply because I would expose for the exterior and I'd let this guy provide the light for the interior. So <clears throat> when you get this guy, it comes with a rubber band or a, a, a black rubber band, yeah, with the Gary Fong logo on it. This essentially just goes around the top of your speed light. Um, just like so. Let's just attach this to the camera just the way we would, the, you know, if we're out in the field, we're actually using this. So we're gonna attach that to our camera, the speed light. Then we're gonna take uh, the Gary Fong diffuser. Now this, by the way, will fit many kind of speed lights. This is just a generic kind of uh, speed light uh, that I'm using, nothing special. And it wraps around with that Velcro strap. And there, right there it's mounted. Let me just turn on the speed light, by the way. So right there, it's mounted, and that's it. And of course, being on a speed light, you can do whatever you want to do with it. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there, and myself included, that was never a fan, particularly, of small diffusers that attach to speed lights. Um, I have used many different kinds, and you know, with, with basic okay kind of-ish results. But with this guy, I get great results. As I mentioned, um, when I'm doing an interior uh, shoot, I can do it all in one exposure. Of course, assuming the room's not too big. I can angle this. Usually I put this straight up, actually, and I let the light just bounce off the ceiling, which it does. It bounces off the ceiling and it emits in an omnidirectional kind of range all the way around the diffuser. And it lets out just this beautiful, soft, almost shadowless light. Um, and it's, it's really great. It does minimize a lot uh, of post. Again, getting it all in one shot. So again, I expose for the exterior. I provide, I'll let this uh, diffuser with my speed light provide the light for the interior. And again, I just adjust the power on the um, diffuser for whether I need, you know, however much power I need to light the room, depending on the size of the room and so on. And it does a great job. Um, and I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, it does an amazing job. It, it takes great, great, great images. It really does. It just does a great job. Um, and secondly, for portrait work, if you're in a studio environment, especially, and you're working with a backdrop, a model, or a client, whatever, and you're doing a, um, a, a portrait shoot, um, it again provides this absolutely amazing, beautiful, soft, almost wraparound light. It helps greatly eliminate shadow uh, behind your, your subject, your model, whatever. Um, and it does an amazing job, so I highly recommend this particular tool. Now, just kind of to finish up this short uh, video on this product review, I'm going to put up a couple of images, um, just a couple that I used this for, and it was actually for one of my um, YouTube videos, I think it was called Long Time Gone, where we were in this abandoned home. 
an abandoned farmhouse and and this is actually exactly the setup i used right here my canon 7d my uh, canon 10 to 22 mil lens this same altura speedlight with the gary Fong diffuser and i use though this setup for that particular shoot so i am going to go ahead and at the end of this video anyhow and put up a couple of images for you to see and you can have a look at what it does now i also mentioned i give it a 9 out of 10 and not a 10. the only reason I give it a 9 and not a 10. The cap, the, actually, the actual concave uh, cap, it clips on the top. There, you hear it snap on. But when you're working, quite often, if I'm um, using, say, more than one camera, so I might have a camera with a shoulder strap and another camera with a shoulder strap, and I let this one hang down, once or twice, this cap has come off, and it's ended up just on the floor. Now, it's been an assistant on myself that may have noticed it and said, Gary, you just lost the cap off that diffuser thing of yours um, that you like so much. Um, and I say, okay, fine, thank you. But that's happened to me four or five times. Sure, you can put a little bit of tape on there just to hold it in place, but you shouldn't have to. Um, so that's why it actually gets deducted one point for that reason alone. It would be relatively easy to lose this cap. And if you lost the cap, I'm sure you could get another one, just order another one, but it would take away from the... Um, from the value of the product and, and the, the usability of the product if you did that. Um, so hey, there you go. That's it. It's the Gary Fong Soft Cloud Diffuser. It does a great job. Again, I am not endorsed or paid by um, uh, Gary Fong or the Gary Fong company. I simply like this particular tool. It does a great job. You might want to give it a try. Cost-wise, here in Canada, I live again in central Ontario, uh, Wasaga Beach. Now, this cost me about $100 Canadian. In the States, I'm guessing $50, $60 US. There are some knockoffs that you can buy, um, cheaper ones, 20 bucks. I've seen them on eBay and Amazon.com. I'll be honest, I've never tried one, so I really can't tell you if they're any good or not. But you know what? I bought the brand name one, and I'm really happy with it. Hey, take a look, couple, look at that. Take a look at a couple of images, again, from the abandoned shoot, so it's not, you know, a house that's up for sale or anything, but just a shoot that I use this for on an everyday working environment. I just picked these images at random so you could see. I didn't pick my worst. I didn't pick my best. I just picked a couple of images at random for you to take a look at. Take a look. Hey, thank you for watching my channel today. If you like the content, please give me a like, give me a share. Please leave a comment. Subscribe. Tell your friends. I need all the subscribers I can get. Thank you. Have a great day.